I am Engineer Raymond Mbonu, the project manager in charge of uh, regional asphalt and construction. I just took students from uh, Taylor Odua Foundation on production of asphalt and general maintenance of the equipment. Good afternoon all. You're welcome to today's training at uh, the Reginalo Asphalt Plant Isele Asaba Delta State, Nigeria. Um, with us here is uh, Engineer Raymond. He's the, our instructor for today. He's going to take us around and teach us the, the practices or the procedures, including the safety measures in asphalt production. So let us welcome uh, engineer Redmond. Thank you, sir. Good afternoon, all. I'm engineer Raymond, the overall here. You're welcome to my place. I will actually take you bit by bit and show you all the processes that is involved in asphalt production. But one thing you have to remember, safety is paramount here. It's a risky job, but very, very interesting. I believe by the end of today, the little knowledge that will impact you guys will go a long way, at least in your own little, little communities. Even if you are not at the field working, but if a project is going on in your place, you'll be able to tell them that, look, this is this, this is that. This is what I learned. Why is it like this? Why is it different from this one? Not when somebody comes and lay asphalt in your area and you, you won't be able to tell anything. So, I will take you on a tour okay. from now. Okay. This is the weighing bridge. As simple as a scale to check weight. In asphalt production, we deal with measurements tons, we measure in tons. So this weighs the material that comes in. The materials I'm talking of is chippings. We have uh, four aggregates we work with. The sand, the stone dust, three quarter, three eighth, and maybe half inch. Depending on if we're working on a binder course or a wearing course. The asphalt, you know, they are not really the same. We have what we call binder and the rearing cost. We have binder and the rearing. So it depends on that what you are working on. That will determine the aggregate you are going to use in the production. So when we get to that stage, I will show you. So weigh all these aggregates through here when they come in and dump. The bitumen, locally called quota, weigh it as well. Yes, and drop in the tank as well. This is the control room to the weighing bridge. It has an indicator in there. I can still show you. Most of you that went in there saw it. That's the indicator. As soon as you sit in, it will tell you the weight. It picks every slightest weight on top. And indicate there you record and um, put up. So I think um, you guys are okay with this weighing bridge. As simple as documents, whatever that is coming in. The asphalt plant itself. This one is the feeder. The feeder unit comprises of four units. You can see it's numbered one, two, three, four. Remember when I told you about the aggregates? Like number one has the stone dust. One, number one for stone dust. Number two sharp sand number three either you put a half inch half inch or a three quarter depending on the course you are doing then number four is three eight three eight what is that three eight is this stone or what yeah they're all stones the classification then when the payload that feeds it and the Conveyor belt is rolling. It takes it to the hopper, uh, the slinger, I mean, 
This is called Slinger. This one. It's called Slinger. The Slinger takes it into the drum. That is a mixed drum. This one is a lighting unit. This one puts fire on. It's on. So you see that during production. This will generate fire. This will feed in the materials. This will generate fire. This will roll and cook it. I will say the soup is mixed inside here. Then the tumbler and the hopper. The processed material will come out through here. Yes. Then, as these materials are entering, eh, as they are entering, the bitumen, the quota, I'm going to the drum. The quota will pass through here. They look it from my Go through here. I'm going to go to the chamber to meet the aggregates. The aggregates coming here will meet with this one here. Process it. This one is pollution control. It takes the smoke through the exhaust funnel. And this PCU, pollution control, to control the pollution around the environment. This does the processing. So now you can see what it is. The bitumen is in a long form, very strong form, but while heating it, they melt it to like water. It traps the dust, brings it into this place. If you watch there, you will see dust. Be careful, don't go there before. It's deep, very deep. I think you can see dust there. Oh, you're not seeing those here.
as I was saying, from the beam, all the aggregates goes into the drum. When it goes into the drum, the bitumen will come from the bitumen tank. They will meet at the junction there, the processing point. When they mix, it hits the hopper. That's the hopper. Then we load. A truck will park under. Trailer will enter under. You understand? When it enters under, it opens. The processed material will be dropping in. When it drops in to a desired quantity, we will now send it to a weighing bridge to confirm the weight of what it's carrying. From there, we will now dispatch it for laying, to be laid on the road. So, but all oh, this, as I was saying, is being controlled from the control room here. So, let me show you the control room. So, I So this is the control unit of everything happening here. You will have our lead generator powering it. So now this is the system. I want to run a quick this thing. He will show you a quick uh, usage of this whole plant now. Here is what we call our totalizer. This is like the computer, it's being processed here. All the information we'll gather from here will be processed here. From here, it goes in. So you can continue from here. Before you start the plant, you first switch it on. Switch on main power. And then release the emergency stop. Emergency shutdown. This one is the emergency shutdown. You release it. And then on the exhaust motor. The first one, the exhaust. Yeah. So the exhaust is on now. Don't on fire, just do the roll drum, roll everything, call in materials. You can see the drum is rolling yeah, now. Yeah. can watch now, they are all moving, all yeah. the motors are gradually moving. Okay. You can see the materials yeah. are busy.
bo bi we kene mu nu ase mu ko yechi nya jalo ta ta bo bose akparakpa makara ndeba asno nkata akparakpa no bi sike je okuya asno na ba akpabo mu ala nuta makara so so mata kene eti akko e de bloke ka na azotol mu me nuzo pliche wana enwa anyo chile mu ga chi ozo ade ze stelo doa eh odibo mu obonye selo ka anyi bu ndi ntolo bi ala ndi eti eto nuzo pliche we bia we megeni we nwa ka isi e megeni ka isi e me he di chi maka na nkete adro mmo ino no na aga nko wapota asili ana owe se kai bia gini kai bia ba anobosi nkete ata nuzo pliche we me ihe ka isi e mie ko we bulu na obu inya aka na obodo ko obodo we na adi wanye mma ai na asukwa ka chine ke goziela anya bu nwa ndo wali o jingo obu no je ko munke zibo nya kwa nria maka na ogala e jelu mba anjula ba no ndo na nya ya da alo no nya gazielu nu my name na azubike divine okachi from obodo constituency 1 I'm happy for the thing where madam they do this time around. As they gather us, they may come learn how to do this asphalt work and the maintenance of the equipments. Now the thing where make me make I leave the place where they come, they so make I learn the thing very well because very very opportunity where I get. I they thank madam Stella Stella Odoa for this opportunity where he give us make we take learn this work. This one where I don't learn, it never depart from me again, and nobody will don't give me this opportunity before. So I say, may God bless her very well, well. All the people who come from about the constituency one, we thank, we they thank God for her. All that works where she they do like a Bodukuru and that is where she they work. We are very very happy. We say, may God bless her, plenty plenty in Jesus' name. Amen. Eka san gbogbole o oruko mi ni Alaji Tijani Zuber mo wa nbili oni lati wa ko bun sin tun awon irin ise irin ise nlanla se eyi ti honorable distinguished senator stella odua sponsor me ipe kin je nu awon eni ti o wa ko eko nipa bon se tun awon irin ise se mo dupe fun olohun mo si dupe fun olojumare mo si dupe fun honorable stella odua owo re o mo lo soke ni o ko ni wale o Assalamu alaikum ni sunana alaji shau imam na zauna a garin onicha mula godiya ga sanata stella odua da wannan kokari da ta nau nuna mana ayyuka akan gyaran hanya da company na gyaran nayin kwalta da shauran su yau mun zo an yi mana abun nan aiki an nunnuna mana yanda ake gudanar da ayyuka mula godiya Allah ya taimaki honorable stella odua Allah ya kara mata lafiya kuma Allah ya sa a gama wannan program lafiya mun gode good afternoon thank you very much my name is comrade Deches Onadunu the pioneer youth leader of National Youth Council of Nigeria in Onitsha South local government area uh, we are here on training on maintenance of heavy construction equipment you know this is empowered this empowered by senator stella adezo doa the omoeze madam project empowerment specialist oh, that's what i call her because she has empowered many youths you know in the local government and still empowering many of us at least today i've learned a lot what i will teach to the youth of onitsha south how to use local equipment you know in maintaining maintaining the roads i really appreciate her and i pray that god will continue to bless her as she is a blessing to us the youths god will continue to bless her and she will continue to grow you know and be moving from glory to glory and from strength to strength this is my prayers to her in jesus name um i'm doris by name from onitsha south local government yeah we actually here to to learn all about the maintenance of heavy construction equipment yes which is being sponsored by stella odo a big a big thanks to her we appreciate her for giving us this opportunity to witness this so thank you ma yeah good afternoon um ndo mcdonald chukebuka i'm the operator of this plant and i took them on the practical aspect of the production on how the production starts and how it ends and the whole mission and the aggregate we use for production thank you good afternoon i am engineer raymond ngonu uh, the project manager 
in charge of the regional asphalt and construction here in Asaba. I just took students from uh, Stella Odua Foundation on production of asphalt and general maintenance of the equipment. So it is not a wasted time or energy. We've been able to impact knowledge on them on asphalt types of asphalt materials and other things needed in the production. It's my pleasure teaching them. Thank you.